Well, I told you guys that I realized the last video I didn't do any women or girls. So this time around, I am going to do at least one image of a woman. So you start out with an egg shape or an oval shape for the base of the head, just like we did last time. You split it in half and then in half again. This, I place the eyes on top of the, the middle line there. In the last video I said I put straight through. This time I just tried something different. And then you split the bottom half into half for the nose and then half again for the mouth. This is more of my cute younger eye. I actually use this for my main character, Kios, in Legend of the King. But I also use it for the girls that are a little bit cuter. There's another eye that I also use, but it's more squashed down and longer, I guess. Remember that the bottom of the jaw line lines up with the, the mouth, usually. And when you're drawing a woman, they don't have sharp curves. It's more rounded edges. Makes them a little bit more genteel. And also a little bit smaller ears than the men I, I like to do. Where it was usually from eyebrow to the bottom of the nose. Just make them a little bit smaller. Just makes them look, seem a little bit more dainty. And I keep the nose very simple too, just two little lines from the front. When I draw the irises, I always make the top just slightly touch the, the top eyelid when it's looking forward. And then I leave more space at the bottom and I think that, that looks correct whenever you're drawing just a front facing eye. I also added that little line underneath the, the lip there, you'll see. And I think that just gives you a little bit of a feeling that there's a, a lip there. Makes it more feminine. Now I'm drawing the bangs. Just gonna have big bangs. And ringlets. That's what I'm drawing here. To draw the ringlets, I start by just drawing a rough line of the thickness and the length that I want them and then I can add in the actual ringlets later. Um, I was just drawing the neck there a little bit. Women's necks are much thinner just like a child's neck. They come in um, almost in line with the pupil if you notice that. Now I'm adding in her bang fangs uh, or just the, the separations in her hair and her bangs. But they do kind of look like fangs, I guess. Alright, now I'm going to begin the process of trying to draw these ringlets. They hopefully will look like ringlets when I'm done. i got to be honest, now that I'm looking at this and I'm getting further along, I think I should have put the eyes in the center of that, the eye guideline that goes straight in half. She would have looked a little bit better. She would have looked a little bit younger, which was what I was going for. But she still looks cute, I guess. Whenever I do the ringlets, I kind of make uh, cylindrical separations, and then they slowly taper upward toward an angle. Um, and then I also kind of make them look like they're ones laying on top of the other, top of the other. And you'll see this in better detail when I when I get further along. Also, women have a lot more hair than men, so the hairline extends further than the actual head circle. Now I'm just going to clean this up a little bit and uh, get closer to starting with the pencil. Alright, I'll throw this into time lapse and I'll zip through the part where I'm actually cleaning up the pencil lines. One quick tip, remember to keep women's eyebrows really thin 
because it helps to make them seem more feminine. If you make the eyebrows too thick, it makes them seem more masculine and it really just throws off uh, the cuteness or uh, more beautiful look of a woman. So unless you're going for that and putting that into your actual character design, try to stay away from that. I know the guy that draws uh, Ken Kenichi, he does a lot of thick eyebrows on his women. I'm not a fan of that and I would say just go with more of a thin eyebrow for them. Okay, this is where I start penciling in the ringlets. Um, I want you to realize that the bottom half I always show like kind of like a, it's unwinding a little bit, just so you can tell that it's got the hair to it. Um, and then they are kind of like just open cylinders, laying one on top of the other. Some can go inside a little bit, some can go outside of the of the one below it, and vice versa. And then it just kind of slowly goes tapered up into the hair, you know, the direction that the hair is coming out of. And so that's the way that I draw ringlets. And then, every once in a while, I'll throw in an opening to show that the ringlets are actually hollow. Now for the actual curly hair, I just kind of do like like little mounds, like laying on top of each other in different sizes. And then I just lay on another one, and then I just add in like little strands that maybe would curl away or something in some places. I think that makes it gives you the, the feel of a curly hair. So you just kind of like do a sloping mound, and then one on top of that.
my comic book, Legend of the King. It is published right now, and you can purchase it on the publisher's website, on um, Amazon, on barnesandnoble.com, I think. So you can purchase it at any of those places. If you don't purchase online, you can go to your bookstores and ask them to order it in for you. It's called Legend of the King, Kios Chronicles. It's all black and white like most manga, but there's uh, lots of action, humor, fun, fantasy, a little bit of sci-fi here and there. But, yeah. I would be very blessed to have you guys pick it up and support me in that way. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you back here next time. In the meantime, keep on drawing.